Ready for the start. They're in the gate. Off in the vista. One Dreamer bounces out quickly. Heavenly Prize uh, showing some early speed today. Toward the outside, Hollywood Wildcat, Link River, and exchange under the line for the first time. In the gray filly, one dreamer will be the leader, and Hollywood Wildcat will press her right from the beginning. Hollywood Wildcat right there running second. Exchange laying off the early pace on the outside third. Link River is fourth. Aaron Bird is fifth. And Heavenly Prize settles into a ground-saving gallop at the inside. Sky Beauty, yet to hit her best stride in the early going, is rating today. She's about seven lengths off the front running, one dreamer. Then it's Miss Dominique, and well behind the rest is truly a dream. The opening quarter went in 23 and 3 fifths seconds. It's one dreamer on an uncontested lead now, and Heavenly Prize is moving, so is Aaron Bird. And on the outside, Hollywood Wildcat is fourth. They run a half mile here in 47 and 4 fifths seconds. One Dreamer still in control as they move into the far turn. Hollywood Wildcat couldn't keep up with her. She has faded now to mid-pack. Sky Beauty is launching a bit outside horses. And down inside, it's Heavenly Prize as Hollywood Wildcat continues to retreat back into sixth position. But it's still One Dreamer trying to steal it on the lead, and she is strong. One Dreamer in front by three as they approach the quarter pole. Heavenly Prize is second on the inside. On the outside, Outside, Aaron Bird is third. Hollywood Wildcat is resurgent, and she's coming again on the outside into fourth. Sky Beauty has dropped back to last. She will not get it done today. It's one dreamer headlong into the final furlong. It's Gary Stevens imploring her for one more furlong. Heavenly Prize on the outside, and now Pente asking her for her best. It's one dreamer trying to hold. You have just witnessed a felony for jockey Gary Stevens has just stolen a $1 million horse race. And Tom Hammond, we got it on videotape. <laughs> and they're off. From between horses, Dins Dancer. There goes the Roan Philly winning colors, grabbing the lead right from the start. Gary Stevens sends her to the front, and she responds, taking command by a length on the far outside. Pat Gay has 49er in second. Dins Dancer is next at the rail and seeking the gold for it. Then a bit of a, a bobbling between uh, C. Trek and on the outside, Purdue King. They're in tight quarters as they go to the first turn. Chris McKenna, uh, Chris, uh, Antley looking for a bit of a racing up around the first turn. He's five wide with the, the favorite private turns. Now back to the front end, and it's the Philly winning colors showing the way by three. 49er content to sit second by a half length. Seeking the gold is third by one. Then Din's Dancer is fourth by a head. Sea Trek on the outside fifth. Proper reality, the winner of the Arkansas Derby is along the inside and moving up steadily. Then comes Purdue King. Then comes Private Turns toward the inside. Regal Classic is next, followed by Jim Zorbic. After that, it's Brian's time. Pete Post on the far outside. Then Risen Star. Then Granakis, followed by Intensive Command. Cephas is second last. And the trailer is lively one with Bill Shoemaker. They go to the far turn, and it's still winning colors showing the way after the half in 46 and 4, and three quarters went 111 and 2. And no one has challenged her yet. Along the inside, proper reality has gained ground and moved into second, seeking the gold is racing third, 49er is fourth, and private turns on the outside fifth as they come to the top of the stretch. She's led from the start, every pole a winning one, and it's winning colors showing the way as they scrape the way in the lane. Winning colors doing it just like Kiwi Lucas said she would, taking command and drawing off. Now she's in front by three, proper reality a second. Here comes 49er, two-year-old champ from last year, putting in a bit on the outside. Bye, Lucky.
starting and Orb is down on the rail just to the inside of Will Take Charge. Governor Charlie reigned well off the pace today and the trailer is Rosie Napravnik on my loop. So Orb will be in mid-pack as they race for the turn and it's Gary Stevens and Oxbow in front. 23 and 4 the opening quarter mile and the lead is two lengths. Golden Sense right behind under Kevin Prigger running in second position. Title Town 5 is third. Four and a half lengths off the lead. Then to the outside comes It's My Lucky Day. Orb is on the rail. He's kept to the inside right now by Departing, who's right alongside of him. And Joel Rosario now finds room in between horses and now gets Orb to the outside and up into third position as Oxbow continues to lead the way through a 48 and three half mile. So it's been a sensible, easy pace for Gary Stevens and Oxbow. And that means Orb will be close and he's in between horses and he's going to get shuffled back a little bit there. He lost position. Title Town 5 is now second on the rail. Golden Sense is in third. And now Orb's going to have to find a way through. He had some running room, and now suddenly Orb is losing ground to the leaders. Orb has dropped back to sixth on the inside. Around the far turn, it is Oxbow still on the lead. Golden Sense, it's my lucky day, is third to the outside. Here comes My Loot with a wide run. Departing is on the rail. Orb is put to an all-out drive. He's not going to get there today. They're into the stretch, and it's Oxbow. Oxbow a furlong to run. It's my lucky day on the outside, trying to close the gap. My loot on the far outside. Oxbow down to the 16th pole in front. It's my lucky day to the outside. Tries to catch him late, but it's Oxbow and Gary Stevens to win the Preakness. And an upset over It's my lucky day. My loot was third. And They're in the gate. And they're off in the 130th Belmont Stakes. And Real Quiet's run for a triple crown. He came away to an uneventful start. And it is Cholito, as expected, who is going out for the early lead. Toward the outside, Raffi's Majesty is showing some speed today. Grand Slam is three wide and running in third position. Liminat runs up close to the pace in fourth. And Real Quiet's not too far away from the early lead. He's in behind horses running in fifth position. Yarrow Bray is just to his outside. Thomas Joe is running in seventh. Basic Trainee is eighth. Parade Ground ninth. And Victory Gallop is tenth on the outside. The early trailer is Classic Cat as the field makes their way toward that long run down the Belmont backstretch. And it's Chilito, and he's breezing along through a quarter that went in 23 and 3 fifth seconds. And a 48 and 3 opening half mile. The pace here is slow to develop. Grand Slam second on the outside. Limit out as running room at the rail. Right up there running in third. Yarrow Bray is fourth. Raffi's Majesty is running in fifth position. Kent DeSormo has guided the Derby winner and the Preakness winner real quiet to the outside for a clear shot at the lead as they continue midway down the backstretch. And he's moving early with six furlongs to go. Then farther back in the field, it's Thomas Joe Parade Grand. Victory Gallop is ten lengths from the lead as Real Quiet now makes a powerful run to the lead with five furlongs to go. Three quarters in one, thirteen and two. And the field moving into the far turn. It is still Cholito in front. Grand Slam trying to get by him. Real Quiet is in perfect striking position. He is third with three and a half furlongs to run. A break of five lengths. Raffi's Majesty is full out. He's running in fourth. Thomas Joe moves to fifth. Three furlongs from the wire. Real Quiet is making a bid for the lead. Cholito toward the inside. Grand Slam is in between those two. Five lengths to Thomas Joe. Raffi's Majesty toward the inside. Victory Gallop is six lengths from the lead, but he's gathering momentum. And as they arrive at the top of the stretch, Real Quiet is taking the lead. He's coming to the eighth pole. 20 years in the waiting. One furlong to go. But here comes his rival, Victory Gallop, as they come to the final 16th. Kent DeSormo imploring Real Quiet to hold on. Victory Gallop, a final surge. It's going to be very close. Here's the wire. It's too close to call. Was it Real Quiet or was it Victory Gallop? A picture is worth a thousand words. This photo is worth five million dollars. Oh, no. History in the waiting. And they're all in line for America's richest horse race. They're off in the Breeders' Cup Classic. 
And Game On Dude had a good start this year. He is up and on the pace. Moreno's fast early. And Mucho Macho Man and Fort Larned are close to. Then it's Declaration of War. Painter Planter will take charge on the far outside. Palace Malice flat out. And last gunfighter as they go by us the first time. And Moreno is the leader. And Fort Larned and Game On Dude are right alongside. And they ran the first quarter in 23 and two fifth seconds. It's a decent pace. And these three are across the track into the clubhouse turn. And then it's Declaration of War just to the inside of Mucho Macho Man, who's in fifth. Three lengths to make up for Mucho Macho Man. Then Punter to the outside of Painter. Palace Malice will take charge. He's only five lengths off the lead. The pace appears to be slowing, and the pack is closing in. Flat out is next, and last gunfighter's only 10 from the top as they run up the back stretch of 46 and one half mile. Fort Larned, last year's winner, on top on the outside of Moreno. Mike Smith and the dude, third on the outside. Then Declaration of War and Mucho Macho Man will take charge. Plunter between horses. Painter is on the rail, five lengths off the lead. Palace Malice and Flat Out are next. And last gunfighter is the trailer. And they went three quarters of a mile in one ten and one. And Fort Larned is the leader. And Game On Dude and Mucho Macho Man are alongside. And Palace Malice comes on too. Declaration of War is in it. Moreno has given way. Will take charge and Flat Out are next. And Mucho Macho Man has taken the lead as they come to the top of the stretch. Game on, dude, is all out. Cutting the corner as Fort Learned will take charge. Declaration of War coming to a furlong to run. Mucho Macho Man, Declaration of War. Fort Learned on the inside. Mucho Macho Man has the lead close to home. Mucho Macho Man, Declaration of War will take charge of final man. Mucho. Benjamin! He did it over Will Take Charge! The Declaration of War in a thrilling Breeders' Cup Classic! 126 for the male. And they're off in a Kentucky Derby! Afternoon Delights gets away quickly. And Serena's song is expected on the outside. Along the inside, Wild Sin takes up the chase. Sid indeed in the middle of the racetrack as that passes for the first time. Serena's song on the outside leads it. Wild Sin at the rail is second. Sid indeed right there, third talking man. In tight quarters between horses, fourth. Pyramid Peak at the rail is fifth. Thunder goes to close up sixth. Afternoon Delight. Three wide is seventh. That Jumron racing a close up eight at the rail. Swap prospect saving ground in ninth. Then Lake George is 10th. Eltish is 11th. Gap of two. Tejano Run is 12th. Dazzling Falls race is 13th. On the outside, Timber Country is next. Then comes in character Mecky. Ski Captain is third last. Jambalaya Jazz is second last. And at the back of the pack, that's Nakadoo, 19th and last. Down the back stretch, it's still Serena Song. Corey Nakatani aboard. He's trying to win this one wire to wire. Wild Sin with Randy Romero on the outside, then a wall of horses charging up and Sinity, a long shot. Part of the mutual field is right there. Sinity takes up the chase and the challenge and moves on Serena Song, but Corey Nakatani lets a notch out. It's still Serena Song. Sinity now talking man is in gear on the inside in blue and white colors. On the outside, Thunder Gulch with the white blinkers and Gary Stevens aboard has something to say about this derby as they turn for home. A little more than a quarter of a mile to go. Serena Song desperate to hang on between horses. Talking man on the inside, but Thunder Gulch emerges with the lead. And Thunder Gulch with Gary Stevens takes command. Talking man along the inside, and now here comes Tahano Run. And in the middle of the racetrack, it's Elfish along with Jum Run. And down the stretch they come in the derby. And here's the winner. It's Thunder Gulch. Lucas wins it.